There are so many ways to download free icons online and use them directly in your product design. But in this video, I want to show you how you can make icons from scratch using specifically Figma. I know you can also accomplish this by using Sketch or Illustrator or Adobe XD or even Photoshop. But in this video, I want to specifically go over how to do this in Figma. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So I'm jumping directly into Figma and I just want to show you how, for example, Facebook here handles iconography in their navigation. You could see here, you have the home page um, icon, you have the shopping icon, you have a bell notification icon, you have a more icon, and you could see for the most part uh, that there's a relationship with these icons, how they have kind of a sumer, similar look and feel, and kind of the spacing is uh, uh, nicely done there with negative space and how thing, these certain icons are now way larger than other. They're pretty proportioned to each other. They pretty have pretty much have the same level of importance except the selected one. And then next I wanna jump into, this one is from uh, WhatsApp, the second one. And you could see the relationship with the with these icons similar to what I talked about with Facebook. I'm just kind of showing you these really quick because I just want to show you the kind of how they have different relationships within each other. And you could still it still feels like uh, like they're a part of the same and not, one is not too too dominant over the other. So you could see here these icons and now I'm showing you kind of um, Instagram's. Uh, iconography here at the bottom at the bottom now I'm jumping jumping into Amazon this is Amazon's iconography showing you kind of the stylistic way that they're doing stuff and they just actually recently changed this they used to have a different uh, for quite some time now this is the way YouTube handles iconography and um, here so in this example this is actually what we're going to be going over let me actually zoom in for you and show you so this is actually what we're going to be making and I'll show you how to make this pretty much from scratch and kind of my technique and how I go about as uh, creating this. Usually I use this type of icon grid system and this will live within a 24 by 24. That's what we're gonna be working in. And what I mean by that is that it's gonna live within a box that's 24 by 24 pixels. And pretty much this box right here just kind of shows uh, where things, um, just to kind of help me with hierarchy and uh, unity and just kind of make, uh, helping me with uh, having my icons uh, fairly consistent and you'll see as I get a little further you'll see how I use this this kind of background uh, kind of grid system and I downloaded this directly from uh, from from the Google um, style guides and I'll, and I'll leave um, I'll leave a link in the description so you can use something like this as well jumping into the icons here so I'm just zooming in here so you can see them a little bit closer and you could see here that I have this uh, this box that I created that's 24 by 24 pixels. I'll be using these as references. I made these icons a little bit earlier just so I can use them as references and show you as how I, how I go about as creating these from scratch. I'm gonna open my layers here and show you that inside of this, um, inside of this box here or this uh, frame here I have uh, reference that I hid. It has that grid that I showed you earlier, that little grid system to help me uh, keeping everything aligned. And let's start off by making this home icon. So basically we could see here, if I click this icon, um, it's about 20 pixels in width. So I can start off by making a box that's about 20 pixels in width. Let's actually make this box in 20 pixels in height as well. So it's going to be 20 pixels in height. So I have the left side and the right side selected and now I'm just pressing down 10 times. So now it's at the, uh, it's down 10 times there. Then I'm making another box here. And actually what I could do is just put this in here so that that's the purpose of that. So it's, we're measuring this thing out so you could see that it's within that kind of that guide. And it doesn't have to be within that guide, it's just something I use as a reference. So it doesn't have to be that strict but you just kind of want to have some kind of reference point that you want to use. So I'm going to hide that reference point for now. And I'm going to bring that other one, that little other box that we just made. Let me just copy it and make it a different color so I could see it. So this uh, thing is uh, the, the house itself is 20 by 20 pixels. And this one is a six by eight. So I want to have it directly in the middle, which I do I have that directly in the middle as to just compare it here go on top so we can make that a little bit smaller one um a tiny bit smaller there so then i'm gonna i'm going to choose this layer and this layer and i'm gonna come here and 
uh, subtract it. So now we subtracted this uh, layer or kind of like, a, it's like making a pie or making cookies like a cookie cutter. So I just cut that out by doing that technique. Um, let's see, now I'm selecting all this stuff and coming here to the to the corner radius and just pressing four to make this nice little uh, corners, but it looks like it's a little too much. So we're actually gonna change that to two. Now it looks like it's um, about the same that, that we did there with that house. And we pretty much have our first icon done. Actually, what I'm gonna do is choose these corners and change that uh, border radius to let's say like a six, something like that. Um, just to give it a little bit, to make it a little more smoother and that actually might be too much. So let's change those. So I'm just selecting this uh, side and this side and I'm just adjusting the uh, corner radius. So let's change that to like a three. And I think that's pretty good. And we can see here we have a pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty clean, uh, pretty unique icon. And we can open up our reference and we can see that we're within those guidelines for the most part. Again, it doesn't have to be within those guidelines, but it's just something that uh, that I have as just just as a reference. So now we finished our first icon. Let's do our um, let's do our second icon here. So I'm just going to put this over here. I'm going to delete the house out of there or the home. This one is pretty easy. This next one. So it's just uh, making some bars here. So those bars are. I'm going to zoom into that one two three four so it looks like it's four pixels so it's a four by ten it looks like so we're gonna make a four by ten um here so the width is four and the height is eight there so i'm going to change that to ten and i'm going to change the border radius to a two and that seems like it's a little too much so i change that to a one um and it's usually good to keep that consistent so i have that as a one there maybe it's good to have that here as a one as well so we'll change that to a one and i'll change these to board radius to like a two let's hide this uh, reference so we can see what we're doing so see what we did there we just have this uh, corner radius to we just have it at a one so that way it's kind of a, a consistent one it's pretty consistent. You could see here, here, and here, it's about the same uh, rounding. Okay, so then we're gonna put this uh, bar here, and then there's about a pixel spacing. So I just I just duplicated that, and I'm duplicating the next one. You could see I'm you could see here what I'm pressing, and I just duplicated those four times. So now I'm gonna um, hold Shift and Command and just kind of make, or actually I'm holding Command and just pressing uh, down. I'm just making that bar bigger and moving it up, making it a little bigger, moving it up. Uh, same thing with uh, the next one, moving, uh, pressing a command and down to make that um, bar a little bit longer. And that's a little too much, it seems like. Let's push that down. And these don't have to be exactly perfect, but I'm just using those as a reference. Exactly perfect from when I'm using these references. And then I'll make this one a little bit bigger, push this up, and now it look, looks like we have our, fi our second icon finished. Um, just by making those bars and kind of adjusting uh, the sizing there. I'm going to hide our reference. So we have that second um, iconography done. Uh, let's create this bell one. This bell one is going to be a, a tiny bit more complex, but it'll be interesting for you to check that, check it out. Actually, yeah, so the spacing here. I just want to talk about this real quick before I move on. So see how there's two pixels in between here and here, and there's three pixels in between here. I think that's okay. It doesn't have to be like hyper consistent. Um, and that's, it's so it's, you, some might say that's off by a pixel and that's okay. In my opinion, some people might be a little too, a little more pickier with stuff like that, but in my opinion, it's okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So moving on to the, to the uh, bell here. Um, or the no, the notification bell. So let's see. Let's try to make that, or we will make that. Let's see. So I'm gonna unhide. I'm gonna bring back the bring back our little reference. We could see here that it, this is 20 pixels in width. So we're gonna make a box that's 20 pixels in width. We have 14, 16, 17, 18, and now we have 20. So now we have this box that's 20 pixels in width. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger here i'm going to select the top two corners i'm going to go to the corner radius and change that to fifth just unlimited to like a 50 or something like that so it just goes to the limit as far as it could go so now we have that and let's see and now i'm going to make another box 
and this box is going to be 24 by around five. We could always adjust that if we need to. Same thing, I'm gonna choose these two and go to corner radius, these two top uh, left and the top right corners and change them to, um, and change them to, to 30, but that's not, doesn't have to be 30, but just a really, a really big number. Um, actually, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Actually, I'm going to put, Actually, what I'm going to do is push this down a little bit lower and make this thing, make this box a little bit smaller because it seems like it might be a little wide. So I'm just pushing it in. It's 20 by 14. I'm going to make it, let's make it 18 by 14. So now I'm going to make that a little longer, push that up. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Let's, let's hide that reference below because it's a little bit in the way. I'll hide that out, make this thing, this top thing like a four by four, push it down a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is take this top uh, little part and the middle part and the bottom part. Actually, before I do that, actually let's move this up a little bit. Move, and I'm, so what I'm doing, I'm taking this top part and I'm just duplicating it and I'm flipping it around, putting it in like that. And now I'm selecting, I'm just gonna select these top parts and I'm gonna come here, combine them together by pressing this union selection. So now they're one piece. Now I could come here and change that uh, border radius to a two. And now we pretty much have our bell notification. I can actually maybe make that a little smaller, something like that. I just, I just stretched it in, stretched it in a little bit. And this bottom part looks a little bit larger too. So I just like put that in a little bit. Um, it was a four by four. What was it? Yeah, I think yeah, it was a four by four. So I just made it a um, into a four by three. So it's a little smaller. So now we have our bell, bell notification that we just made. Um, and you could see that uh, it's pretty similar to that top reference we were just using. It's not, it look, doesn't look like it's 100% the same. There's might be some small differences, but I could go in and tweak it if I if I need to. But for the purposes of this tutorial, um, it's for the most part the same. And now I'll show you how to make this final and last icon. And this one is surprisingly pretty easy, as you'll see. Uh, let's see, so the way, that, the way that I create this one is actually I come over here and choose the star shape. And I come in the center and create a star. Let's do a 20 by 20 for now. And let's maybe turn on that little reference uh, background that we, we've been using and maybe make the star a little bit bigger. So we have five shapes on the star. So I can come over here on the side where it says five. I can actually change that to six. So let's change that to six. So now we have these six um, kind of um, corners. So now I'm gonna come over here and just adjust this part a little bit. And this is something that uh, you can uh, potentially experiment with, but you can kind of adjust that part, then choose all the, choose everything here and just come to the corner radius. And I'm just pressing up on my keyboard. And I have it at, so I just changed that to two. And we have the shape that we created. So now let's maybe hide our reference, choose that shape. Choosing the shape, maybe making it a little bit bigger. It's saying that it's 26 by 26, but in reality it's not because the box itself is 24 by 24 because we're using some of those um, techniques that we just did. So as long as this is within the, the box, then we know it's a safe area. So now I'm just gonna make a circle by hitting O and making, let's say like a four by four. Maybe let's do six by six circle for now. And I'm gonna choose a circle and I'm gonna choose our shape. So we have both of our uh, shapes selected and I'm gonna choose this uh, align horizontal and I'm gonna choose this uh, align vertical. So now our circle is uh, centered. I'm gonna choose the circle and I'm gonna choose a star. And then I'm gonna come over here and choose subtract selection. And now we pretty much have that shape. 
I'm going to duplicate that and show you. I, get, I realize that it's not exactly the same as well, but you can still tweak it. And if you really want to make it identical, you could. Uh, I made this one, I made these four earlier. So I was just kind of using them as references. And now that hopefully gave you a good idea to how to make, um, how to make these icons. And then you can go in here and title them. Maybe call that one home. And then maybe choose all these things here and kind of union them together and then call it maybe dash since it's kind of like a dashboard kind of scenario um choose the bell maybe union that together and call that um bell and then this one is already some buys so that one we can call it maybe settings since the settings icon and pretty much that's how you would create um these icons let me come over here and just show you that you can also really quickly just hide the background so you can do a quick comparison I'll coming over here have all four icons selected and just coming to the fill and putting eyeball off so you can kind of see very quickly that um, the, the quick comparison of the three or the uh, four different icons that we just created pretty fast and that was pretty much it I hope you enjoyed my little example of how I make iconography using specifically Figma I know I went a little bit fast in certain parts but really I just wanted to kind of give you a high uh, mostly like a high level view quickly of how I handle iconography and I wanted to give you the ability to make icons yourself using a program such a powerful program like Figma and uh, in reality, there are a lot of other little small things that I might do as far as tweaking little things and other little measurements and also checking the checking how the iconography looks in context with the product itself. And those are other little, little things that I would do uh, that I didn't sh that I didn't show you just to, for the purposes of making the video fast and digestible for you. If there's anything that you think I might have missed, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you haven't yet subscribed to um, to my channel, feel free to subscribe as I'll be posting more interesting videos like this. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave me a like. Um, I will see you in my next video. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.